partnering with Barbados' leading higher education institution towards achieving national and regional development goals. We take note that the Caribbean is the United States' sixth largest trading partner, with 35.3 billion flowing between us each year. In pursuit of our shared objective to enhance the growth and development of regional economies, we are indeed happy to work with the U.S. government and look forward to the program of collaboration which this MOU will facilitate. Many of our region's economies are highly dependent on imports, making our economies vulnerable to external shocks, such as we are experiencing now with the COVID-19 pandemic and the collapse of, ma of our major export earner, tourism. As small vulnerable economies, our export competitiveness is also hampered by high production and transport costs. In addition, the world's inequitable distribution of COVID-19 vaccines is threatening the Caribbean's economic recovery, and it would be remiss if I did not remark how grateful we have been in the Caribbean region for the generous donations of vaccine doses by the United States of America that have filled critical shortfalls in CARICOM countries. More than ever then, we recognize the importance of renewing our common efforts to build resilient economies by guiding access to export markets for our goods and services. Trinidad and Tobago's Prime Minister Keith Rowley, in his former role as Chairman of the CARICOM, shared this sentiment during an event on February 26th of this year that marked the launch of the Adrian Arsh Latin America Center's new Caribbean initiative. To quote Prime Minister Rowley, it's a challenging moment that also offers an opportunity to reset relationships between the region and the United States, States which continues to be a significant partner for our 16 million strong community in a number of areas, security, trade, investment, energy, agriculture, education, tourism, and sport.